Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel, I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while, poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us, well, it's one of mine, um, and I'm going to read something that actually doesn't appear in any of my books. Um, years ago, when I was finishing up my MFA, and before my first book was accepted for publication, I would occasionally put together little chapbooks uh, for myself and some friends of things that had already been published. And so I have a little going away present that I gave a few people called Waiting for Departure um, and uh, contained a number of poems um, that uh, appeared in various online journals and print journals uh, during that time. Uh, some of them made it into the final collection uh, for my first book, and some of them didn't. Uh, for one reason or another, either they felt uh, redundant in the course of assembling the, the manuscript, or um, they just didn't fit. Um, this was one of the poems that, that uh, didn't end up in the final book, but uh, is nonetheless still a favorite poem. Um, and this is for my good friend Heather, who requested it. Adrift. All night locusts fly from my dreams. The sky peels back from sky, twin heavens reeling in a dark net of stars. I watch the slow dance of grain, wildflowers burning against the prairie's lines, the tall shadows of grain elevators, squat bins and barns, now amalgam of aluminum and steel and sometimes wood. From my window the earth is a beggar's vessel awaiting rain. In the breeze a mantle ascends, twists in distant clouds, each passing car a blue glow beyond the horizon's curve, where dry soil lifts to the sky in a never-ending question mark. Each gravel road turns a vein, a slow pulse of dust rising in waves like semaphore or sign against the clouds, the thunder, the coming rain. All night I drive this empty ship into a storm, the long shadowed world below, the moon buttoned fast to the sky, and the desert asking if the land would make a better sea. Um, I, I think if you listen closely to the poem, you can hear uh, elements that would later grow into another poem, uh, traveling through the prairies, I think of my father's voice. Um, when I wrote Adrift, it was years before my father's passing, and I think as I was working on the completion of my first manuscript in the immediate wake of my father's death, um, some of the images returned to me, but took on new significance and meaning, um, and others took a back seat. Both this poem and Traveling Through, uh, Traveling Through the Prairies, I think of my father's voice, are important to me, but uh, I, I felt in the end I had to choose one, and the one that, that felt the strongest in terms of the collection, in terms of the book, um, ended up being traveling through the prairies, I think, of my father's voice. Um, but uh, this one is nonetheless part of my love for the prairies, and for this place that uh, I spent a good portion of my childhood in. So here's to you, Saskatchewan. Here's to you, Canadian prairies. Um, and what it's like to drive across them in the big, wide, open space that it is. Um, thank you for listening to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. Uh, I'm Neil Aiken, and uh, I'm grateful that uh, you have stayed tuned. And hopefully you're enjoying this series, enjoying these readings and these poems. If you're interested in... Supporting this series, it's as simple as hitting the like button on these videos, sharing these videos with others, uh, subscribing to the channel. If you hit the bell icon, you're notified every time there's a new video. Um, I have new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and uh, I'm always open to suggestions. So if you have a book or a favorite poet you would like to recommend, please feel free to contact me, email, or comment below, and uh, I'll do my best to work it into the schedule. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're doing well and staying safe and staying healthy. Keep up uh, the good work of writing and, and celebrating the writing of others. Um, I hope that you're finding inspiration 
and you're finding opportunities to create um, and to share what you're creating with others. Um, until next time, um, take care and uh, keep on writing and we'll be back again soon.